YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the new Footies Hero SBC card for none other than Tim Cahill. Cahill is a 97 rated card. He has high medium work rates, right footed with five star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now we do see a lot of versatility with the card. He can play the striker, center mid, center attacking mid, and center forward positions. And if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is very well-rounded. He is hula gang with the lowest stat being 88 for his defending. Now I will say man it is a very interesting card he has the anticipate play style plus he has the power header acrobatic as well and because he does have so much versatility i think that with the way that the card is set up maybe like as a more attacking minded center mid he could fit that position really well he does have 94 pace overall with 93 acceleration and 95 sprint speed not bad depending on what position you want to go ahead and play him in but i would still go ahead and recommend a chem style to make him even more quick in game now the 98 shooting is obviously where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most alongside his 99 physical and if you do run him at the striker position i do expect him to be very clinical 98 attacking positioning 99 finishing and 99 shot power they did also go ahead and give the card the power shot play style plus i think that that's going to be a lot more effective if you run him like as a center forward or center attacking mid now the 90 passing is another pretty decent stat for the card nothing too crazy i mean he does have 99 short pass which is incredible but then he does have 85 long pass and 86 curve i do expect his passing to be quite accurate the 93 dribbling is probably one stat that i would go ahead and improve with the specific chem style not to say that he has bad dribbling stats but because he does have 91 dribbling as that subcategory 91 composure as well i think that it's really important to get the most out of his agility and balance and with the way that the card is set up i do think that the engine is probably your best option with the engine we are going to be very close to maxing out both the agility and balance now if you do want to go ahead and run him at the center mid position the 88 defending i mean a very interesting stat they went ahead and gave him the anticipate play style plus 84 interceptions 87 defensive awareness and 88 stand tackle i mean if you want to go ahead and incorporate him as like that more attacking minded center mid or maybe even as like a box to box midfielder you can give him a chem style to help out with that and then last but not least boys and a huge part to his game the 99 physical he does have 99 for each subcategory which is phenomenal so i do expect him to be very strong both on and off the ball and he might be a bit of an underrated player now if we jump on over to footpin boys we can see that cahill does have 11 different play styles he has the power header power shot anticipate and acrobatic play style pluses and then he does also have the finesse shot chip shot rapid first touch press proof and relentless and aerial now he can only have the controlled acceleration type and when it comes to chemistry styles it's going to come down to how you want to go ahead and incorporate him in your starting 11 if you do want the card to be a little bit more balanced from an attacking perspective i would personally go ahead and recommend the engine chem style with the engine chem style we are going to be very close to maxing out his pace he's going to have 98 it's also going to give the card a really nice upgrade to his passing he is going to have 93 passing overall and then last but not least and probably the most important upgrade it's also going to give him 98 dribbling 97 agility and 98 99 balance with the five star skill moves now if you want to go ahead and incorporate him as that box to box center mid the shadow is not a bad option either with the shadow chem style we do max out his pace at 99 and then it's also going to give him a whopping 94 defending so he is going to be a lot more balanced especially with the anticipate play style plus 92 interceptions 91 defensive awareness and 96 stand tackle as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new cahill card we're going to be playing him at both the center mid and then also striker positions in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one we are coming up against garincha holland cantona aitana bentancourt it's a very good team now in game number one we're going to go ahead and test them out as that more attacking minded center mid in the 4-3-2-1 formation it's going to be very interesting i think that as a more advanced center mid he might be able to get the job done now first things first you guys know how we like to start every play review and that is by testing out the cards dribbling we did go ahead and give him the engine chem style and as you guys can see with the press proven he does keep it quite close now as that more attacking minded center mid we want him to create a lot of chances we also want him to bag a few goals but we do also need that defensive cover especially with the anticipate play style plus cahill already picking up a very advanced position that's decent dribbling right there the touch into a power shot tim cahill check with the good save i think that the power shot play style plus with this card is going to be very very effective cola cahill just trying to take a touch around the defender decent physicality man 99 strength and 99 aggression i feel like the pace in that situation could have been a little bit better the pass is nice man that's a decent assist the physicality is going to be a huge part to his game because we need him to be very strong in the middle of the pitch and i feel like he is going to be able to hold off a lot of different defenders especially with the press proven play style Swanson, I'm just going to go for a switch. This guy is doing a lot of AI defending. We signaled Cahill to make that run. Barcola over top. So a really good run forward. 
Cahill, he kind of tricked me right there by pulling out the goalkeeper. A little bit of left stick. Decent physicality in that situation. That was most definitely my bad. Havertz, a bit of a scrappy game right now. Cahill, good little touch. The power shot is good as well. And I do expect him to be very clinical. Now, for me personally, boys, I think that the power shot play style plus is a little bit underrated. And with his shooting stats, I think that that can be really effective as a more attacking minded center mid. Now, because this guy is playing a high line, I'm just going to try to get some of our attackers in behind. Cahill, decent left stick dribbling. A good ball into Swanson. Still with it. Might just try to get him in a good area. Zanetti down this right hand side. Cahill, ball roll finesse shot. Fake shot. Roulette. Oh, we're doing a little bit too much right there, but really good physicality to retain possession for us. Cahill, okay, five-star skill moves, decent acceleration boost. It's a bit of a tight angle, but I feel like so far with like his really high defending and really high physicality, very easy to win the ball up the pitch. Should have had the interception right there though. Moving the ball really well. All we really need is one more goal in this game. Cahill, okay, a little step over, keeping it very close with the press proven. Still with it. Good ball into Swanson. Near post. It's a good finish, man. The chance creation is most definitely there. Okay, Hill. I'm going to signal him to make that run. And maybe with Havertz, we go over top again. It's a lovely ball, man. I mean, that's just so difficult to pick up. As you guys can see, his acceleration isn't great. Finesse shot near post. It is a really good finish, though. I feel like with the controlled acceleration type, even with the upgrade to his pace with the engine chem style, he isn't the quickest of players. In many situations, I feel like the defenders uh, typically catch up to him. Do we have time for one more attack? That over top through ball, man. I mean, it's just so difficult to pick up. Cahill, power shot near post. I mean, it is a really good strike, but he pulled out his goalkeeper. Obviously, we're going to score from right there. Game number two, ladies and gentlemen. And in game number two, we're going to go ahead and test him out at the striker position. As a center mid, he isn't half bad. Now, at the striker position, honestly, I just want him to get into really good areas and convert the majority of the chances that he's presented with. Come on, God. Now, this guy has already paused it. I'm not too sure if he's going to quit. Cahill, good attacking positioning. Ball roll, keeping it close. We'll go near post. It's a really nice finish. Now, this guy's actually a very interesting player. I'm going to try to go for a cross diagonal because I feel like he's not going to track the run. And now we just need Cahill in a good area. Play it back. One more. Cahill, great attacking positioning. Finesse shot near post. It's not the greatest of attempts. With his 99 strength and 99 aggression, Loki kind of difficult to get him off of the ball. Swanson. Nice, good football right here, boys. Moving the ball really well. Cahill again with the attacking positioning. And I will say, if you do want to run him at the striker position, I would probably pair him with maybe a taller, more physical type of striker. Yeah, this guy likes the dribbling. Cahill, decent interception right there. We'll take that. Nice, over top by Zanetti first time. Cahill, power shot on the volley. Oh, that's a good finish, man. I feel like we shouldn't be scoring in that situation. But with the power shot play style plus and the five-star weak foot, like I said, man, can definitely bag you a lot of goals. The way that he turned, man, very good balance to still get the shot off. Okay, Hill, little skill move right there. Five-star skill moves for the card is really nice. Keeping it close. Gonna go for a cutback. It's a really good ball into Havertz. If you do run him at the striker position, I think that the passing and dribbling are quite consistent. So you can also create a few chances with him. Cola over the top. Tim Cahill, touch. Power shot again. I don't know what it is, man, but these little like looping shots have actually been quite consistent. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that is us using the new Tim Cahill footies card in a few games of foot champions. And I will say a very interesting player. Now, after testing him at both the striker and center mid positions, I do think that he makes a better center mid in game. And I feel like that kind of sounds a little bit different, but honestly, with the way that the card is set up, I feel like he suits that position a little bit more. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the engine chem style. So he does have 97 acceleration and 99 sprint speed and because he doesn't have the rapid or quick step play style pluses i feel like he wasn't the quickest of attackers in some situations where we did get him in behind i did still feel like a lot of the center backs were catching up to him the 98 shooting for me personally boys was a standout stat for the card with the power shot play style plus and the five star weak foot a very clinical player now as that more attacking minded center mid the 90 passing and 93 dribbling were two really important stats for the card and i feel like for the most part the passing in game was quite accurate 99 short pass 89 long pass and 94 curve i think it would have been really nice to maybe see a few passing play styles especially if you want to go ahead and incorporate him in the midfield the 93 dribbling with the engine camp style worked really well in my opinion 97 agility and 99 balance with the press proven play style and with the press proven play style i feel like it's very difficult to get him off of the ball he keeps it very close now the main reason why i think that he's better suited as a center mid in game is the fact that he does have the 88 defending and the anticipate play style plus now with the shadow camp style you are going to go ahead and max out his pace at 99 and then it's also going to give the card 94 defending so a very 
well-rounded player and maybe like as that third center mid in the 4-3-2-1 formation I think that he can thrive and then last but not least boys in the standout staff for the card the 99 physical now I will say he is a very strong player in game with his 99 strength and 99 aggression despite him having a smaller build in game I think that is still very difficult to get him off of the ball overall boys I'm gonna go ahead and give the card like a 9.5 out of 10 rating I really enjoyed using him at both the center mid and striker positions now in order to complete the SBC there are two different requirements it's gonna cost you roughly a hundred thousand coins and to be completely honest man it is very difficult to say whether or not the SBC is worth it I think that it's gonna come down to who you have in your starting 11 and the way that you want to go ahead and incorporate Cahill if you want to use him at the striker position I think that there's already so many better options out there that I would probably just stay away from the SBC I think that he does have the potential to make a solid striker in game but two out of the four playstyle pluses aren't really effective the acrobatic and power header playstyle plus is not really useful going forward the anticipate I mean isn't useful either so from an attacking perspective the only one that's really useful in my opinion is the power shot now if you do plan on using him as a more attacking minded center mid or maybe even as a box-to-box -box midfielder then it's a decent SBC to go ahead and complete if you want to have a little bit more fun with the game if you do want to go ahead and test out different players then I do think that Cahill is a pretty decent option do I think that he's some crazy OP meta type of player probably not but he is still a pretty solid midfielder so if you do have the fodder and you're maybe looking for like a new more attacking minded center mid I think that he's a decent option in my opinion Martin Odegaard is a lot better but if you are a bit on a budget and you don't have too much fodder in your club as a center mid in game he is a pretty decent option and I would recommend him but that is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video I've been your boy Booba and I'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace